Hello, I'm Shane in Sweden, and in this series of videos, we've been looking at how you can investigate a data breach using uh, the wonderful Splunk tool. Now, as promised earlier, although the investigation is complete, we're going to do an extra bonus video, which will give you some guidance and show you how you can actually do this yourself at home. And the information that I gave in this video, there will be links placed below in this video and also in all the other parts of the uh, four part investigation videos that we did. So if you want to look at the data, if you want to take download the data that I was actually using and analyzing as part of these uh, this video series, well, you can simply go into GitHub here under uh, Splunk and security data sets. And I will be putting this link down below. And here they have different versions for actually of the same data sets. Go in, it explains uh, the data sources that we were using, how to retrieve it, the sizes, how much information there is, all the applications that you'll need to. Remember, you can install uh, Splunk for free to try it out and learn how to use it. Um, but if you use it fully for this type of analysis, there are some extra applications that need it to be added. And this gives you full information on how to go about that and even the data sets themselves in different formats. We'll need quite a bit disk space, but uh, it's perfectly doable if you want to install this uh, for yourself personally, or even if you want to run um, some sort of competition or teams against each other. And if it wasn't enough that uh, Splunk provide these data sets, they actually even provide a scoring server, which you can use in team competitions where different teams try to investigate an attack at the same time as part of a competition. So you have a scoring management and hint management and lots of other stuff that they can use there to make the whole thing much more enjoyable. And Splunk themselves have been using this, these data sets and these systems at their boss of the SOC events at the Splunk conferences. There is also a good introduction page which explains why they've done this and, and what the whole purpose is behind uh, the release of the information and the applications. And, and so I think we owe a great deal of thanks to Ryan Kovar for the work that him and the other members of the Splunk team have done here. Finally, if you're a particularly lazy person or you don't have a large uh, computer system with the resources, the hard disk, and or perhaps you just don't have the time um, to install data and install free Splunk, you can see there's a link here, then you can actually go to the Splunk Live Splunk, Splunk Security Dataset Project. And here you need to just register. And when you register, you will be given access, session access, uh, to the datasets that we investigated here. And there is an alternative data set as well you can also investigate. Now when you register the information here you'll be given access as long as your session runs so you can sit and try different things. If uh, you have to go off and do something else or you need to come back the next day you will need to come back to this form and re-register to get access again. So we have several different things here. We have the data sets on GitHub you can download. You have free Splunk you can download and install to run these data sets and do your analysis. There is a competition scoring system you can install if you want to hold team events at your organization or somebody else's organization where different teams try to compete with each other to carry out the same sort of investigation as we've done here. And there is a using a live Splunk, an online version where you can investigate or if you just want to follow along with the investigation videos that I've presented here. So. Um, as I said, all these links are going to be in the video below and also in the other four parts where we actually did the investigation. So there's no reason not to uh, try out Splunk for yourself. Thank you very much.